Hello, Star Wars fans. Thank you for all your incredible support and response to Obi-Wan Kenobi. I have some important news. Our premiere date is moving just a couple of days from Wednesday to Friday, May the 27th. But here's the exciting part. The first two episodes will premiere together. So make sure you tune in to both episodes of Obi-Wan Kenobi, streaming Friday, May the 27th, exclusively on Disney+. What's going on guys, Unofficial Star Wars here, hope you're all doing well, and you just watched the official announcement here for the Obi-Wan Kenobi show, as it's going to be moving its premiere date, as we have just learned here, from May 25th, the 45th anniversary date from A New Hope, and two days over to May 27th on a Friday, very, very good in my own thoughts and opinions, and it will also be premiering its first two episodes together. So, first talking about moving its premiere date from a Wednesday to a Friday, as we have been knowing here, Disney Plus's new thing with its TV shows is that they do premiere premiere on Wednesdays instead of Fridays. When they were originally doing them on Fridays, they had moved over to Wednesdays. It actually received quite a bit of backlash and then people eventually just kind of got over it. But it seems that for the fans and it seems that only for the premiere date of the Obi-Wan Kenobi show is that they're going to be moving it to Friday. The rest of the episodes for Obi-Wan Kenobi and from what we can tell for as of right now for future Marvel and Star Wars shows is that they're all going to be released once again on Wednesdays. Unless there's some type of, I guess, announcement like the Obi-Wan Kenobi show that we just got right here other than that all that we know about here for the rest of the obi-wan kenobi show and it's going to be releasing its episodes here it's going to be the rest of these episodes are going to be releasing over on wednesdays there's not exactly any clear-cut reason for maybe as of why they would actually move the premiere date here for the obi-wan kenobi show other than that it would actually overlap with marvel's moon knight possibly or it could also overlap with the bad batch season two over also seeing the incredible support that this overall obi-wan kenobi show is received receiving of course it could also be kind of like a quote-unquote reward here for the fans because they kind of know that the fans want these shows to be released on Fridays and for another factor that they're going to be releasing two episodes together as for the premiere instead of just the one it definitely also seems very promising that they very well hey could be actually listening to the fans however I have to be completely honest and fair with you guys I honestly highly doubt that I think that they're simply doing it out of spite of not wanting anything to exactly kind of overlap here and that makes complete uh, sense here I gotta be honest with you I think that that the Moon Knight show, if it was in the case of being overlapped, I think that the Obi-Wan Kenobi show would completely like just overshadow it and nobody would really pay that much attention to it. However, that's not to completely take away from the Moon Knight show. I myself am a very big Marvel fan out there. I have my Marvel li uh, channel linked down in the description down below. If you're into Marvel, definitely go check that out as well. It's definitely kind of like a 50-50 type of thing. I definitely think that Disney is all right with having its own kind of genre of shows, like a, a Star Wars show overlapping with a Star Wars show. But seeing that they just don't want like a Marvel show to overlap with a Star Wars show also makes a lot of sense to me as well. Potential rumors and talks about a potential season two for the Obi-Wan Kenobi show is also another thing. It's Something I haven't completely talked about here on the channel and it's something I plan to talk about here on the channel in a future separate video so make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell if you haven't already to be notified when that video does come out. Taking a deeper dive into the directs article I'll have that full article linked down in the description down below as always and what they more or less have to say here and maybe potential reasoning behind as we already do know Star Wars fans will revisit a galaxy far far away for a highly anticipated adventure with Ian McGregor's Obi-Wan Kenobi reprising the role on Disney Plus currently billed as a six episode limited series Obi-Wan Kenobi will highlight the former Jedi Master's time of exile on Tatooine as the gaps between Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, and Episode 4 fill in for the classic hero story. So, as I had already shared at the beginning of the video, Star Wars shared a video over on Twitter featuring Ian McGregor who offered an update about changes to the Obi-Wan Kenobi's Disney Plus series' release date. McGregor revealed that the series is now set to premiere on Friday, May 27th, and slightly delayed to the debut from Wednesday, May 25th. After this, the series will return to releasing episodes on Wednesday. Additionally, on May 27th, we'll see the release of the first two episodes of the Obi-Wan Kenobi show, meaning the series is set to conclude on June 22nd, which is still pretty good for me, to be honest with you. That also could be kind of clearing up some of the room for this jam-packed year of the Star Wars. The year of 2022 has to be the Golden Age, or as we like to call it here on the channel, the Baskar Age for Star Wars. We're getting five different upcoming new series slash projects here in the year of 2022, and while the 
they're gonna have to fit it all in this single year here also possibly potentially overlapping with the year of 2023 which is also said to be a very jam-packed year for the upcoming star wars franchise as well it also makes a lot of sense seeing that there's potential rumors out there that the bad batch season 2 would be releasing over the summer once again it's something i would probably anticipate and actually really like uh, once again how does this actually affect the obi-wan kenobi show after its debut while this release date to change for obi-wan kenobi is only a couple of days in the relay it really causes a ripple effect that can't be taken lightly for multiple fandoms one on one hand the show now premieres one day after the star wars celebration event in anthem california providing a hub for visitors to geek out over the show over its first weekend on disney plus so that is something i didn't actually completely think of because i don't completely always think about star wars celebration well because i've never actually attended it although there are quite a bit of different announcements teases any of that type of stuff could be going on at star wars celebration for the upcoming year possibly something for andor or bad batch i would highly highly anticipate for star wars celebration however thinking about kind of like actually attending star wars celebration as a star wars fan of course and seeing the obi-wan kenobi show and then getting to go to star wars celebration a huge gathering of just a bunch of nerds and star wars fans of course and they kind of just sit there and geek out over what we just saw the last couple of days here with the obi-wan kenobi show and its premiere date would be absolutely amazing that would just be like a once in a lifetime type of experience the article continues to go on to say this is an even bigger moment now with the two of its six episodes having premiered giving that so much more for the fans and cosplayers alike to actually discuss here for the upcoming obi-wan show however may 27th will also be the day that stranger things season four one of the most popular streaming shows on netflix comes back for its fourth season after a two-year hiatus this is very anticipated this could make for a difficult decision on part of many fans as an entire stranger things season releases that day on top of two entries for the obi-wan kenobi show on disney plus side of the equation this alleviates some of the stress premiering side by side with miss marvel which is something i didn't completely think about to be completely honest with you guys which would also have three episodes overlapping with the obi-wan kenobi show instead of just four there very well could be more changes over the next couple of months to lessen that conflict further for the miss marvel show but for now half of each of series will be getting its own shine while the reasoning behind the decision is unknown completely fans certainly have a lot to look forward to they had for the summer of 2022 and really the overall year of 2022 especially for you star wars fans and marvel fans alike out there some of my own end thoughts here for the ending of today's video thanks so much for watching all the way up until this point in time of course it means the absolute world to me and i want to thank you guys all so much for all the love and support not only here on our youtube channel but over, also over on our instagram unofficial star wars link down in the description down below some of these clear cut kind of ending thoughts and opinions here for the overall moving of the obi-wan kenobi show and kind of where it's aligning with some of these other shows over on disney plus and also other streaming platforms is something that this article mentioned stranger things over on netflix yes it's definitely getting a lot of hype out there but i don't really think it's that hype compared to previous seasons i mean they took a two-year break and this overall season for stranger things and i know this is isn't a Stranger Things, I guess, channel here. It just doesn't have as much hype really going for it compared to these previous seasons. So I don't really think it's going to be all that much of a problem or an issue. At least for when it comes to kind of combating, if you will, with these other Disney shows and these other streaming platform shows. Something I just forever really won't understand is why can't we just spread it all out through, all the, I guess, different days of the week? Have the Star Wars shows all premiere over on Friday? Have the Marvel shows over on Wednesdays? It makes a ton of sense in my own thoughts and opinions. Sure, the only reason that they clear this up instead of having its shows release on Fridays they wanted to have their movies releasing on Fridays and well there's only like a good four five six maybe seven I guess Disney plus movies that they've actually released on Wednesdays so it just doesn't seem completely entirely fair and make all that much sense of course I want to know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below what do you guys think here about having the two episodes for Obi-Wan Kenobi premiering together and furthermore moving that premiere date to Friday should they have all the Star Wars shows being released on Fridays instead of Wednesdays and have all the Marvel shows released on Wednesdays I want to know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below some of your hopes and predictions for the obi-wan kenobi show something i'd absolutely love to hear as well and drop a like in the video if you enjoy it as it really helps with the channel and check out our instagram unofficial star wars for more star wars other content guys thanks so much for watching today's video as always may the force be with you i'll catch you guys in the next one have a great day or night peace out